guys welcome to ids information technology skills at today's video we're going to have positioning widgets with grid in tkinter okay so what is a grid method it is used to organize widgets in a table like structure in parent widget it puts the widget on a two-dimensional table the master widget is split into a number of rows and columns each is called as cell this is an example of a grid. Each box is called a cell and it has a row and column. Okay, so the number of rows starts with zero, same with the column. Let's say you want to place or add a label. Let's say the label is enter your name. The address or the row number for the label enter your name is zero, same with the column number okay so that will be the address for the specific label then let's say you want to add a text box for the user to enter his or her name the address for this text box will be row zero column one and if you're going to observe we can also merge or combine two or more columns or two or more rows so for this text box it occupies two columns so we have different properties that will be discussed later on then let's say you also have another label enter your address and another text then we have a button for the user to submit and another button for the user to cancel the data that is being entered so this will be our design so for this video we're only going to design the gui we're not going to add commands for each button okay we're going to have a label two text box and two buttons so i called this text box but for python it is called as entry so when we are using a grid we need the widget name so let's say the name of this label is l1 so we're going to have l1 dot grid that is the keyword and the options okay so what are the options or what are the properties that will be added inside the parentheses first we have the column it is where you put the widget in the default is zero so it is the leftmost column then we have the column span how many columns the widget occupies the default is one we also have the row this is the row where you put in the widget okay so the default is the first row which is the zero then we also have the row span it tells how many rows the widget occupies so aside from the row and column we also have the ipad x and ipad y it tells how many pixels to pad widget for the x for ipad x that is for the horizontal and for the ipad y that is the vertical pixel so it is inside the widget border okay so we're going to try it later on we also have the pad x and pad y it indicates how many pixels to pad a widget horizontally and vertically okay so for the pad x and pad y it is outside the border we also have the sticky. By default, widget is centered in its cell. Sticky may be a string concatenation of zero or more of N, E, S, W, N, E, N, W, S, E, N, S, W. So if you're going to look at the value, that is the compass directions. Okay, so indicating the sides and corner of the cell so now let's try to create a gui so copy this code first and i'll be explaining what it means so here guys we have the three main parts of creating a gui using tkinter so of course we need to import all the package that is being included for the tkinter so this is the import part then we have the root equals to tk this is the creation of the window so the name of the window is root but you can have another name for that then the root dot main loop okay so it is used to loop the window so if we're going to run this this will be the output okay so there is no widget here so here yeah, guys we're going to add a label so copy this code first So here guys, we have L1 as the name of the label, okay? So the widget is label that will be displayed on the root or on our window. 
then the text will be enter your name this will be the text that will be displayed inside the label and the font is 40 so if you want to know more about widgets don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified if we have new videos on gui so using the grid method we're going to add this label on our root okay or on our window so we're going to have l1 as the name of the label okay then we're going to have the grid keyword so inside the parentheses are the options that we want to have okay so we're going to place the address or the location or the position of l1 so here the position of l1 or enter your name is row zero column zero so that will be placed here now let's try to add the entry so now guys we added e1 as the name of the entry okay so this is capital e then it will be displayed on our root or on our window the font is 40 so we're going to place entry beside l1 okay so the address for that will be this okay so e1 will be displayed at row 0 column 1 which is beside l1 okay so let's try to run this program so this will be the output so now let's try to add this other part which is the label enter your address and the entry for that label so for that let's just copy this code Okay, now guys, we have another label which is L2. The text is enter your address. Same, the font is 40. So we're going to place L2 at row 1, column 0, which is the same on this address. Okay, so if you cannot visualize on how to place the labels or widgets on your GUI, you can design your GUI on Excel or you can draw it on your paper then try to code it. Then next, the entry which is E2 that will be displayed at row 1, column 1. Okay, so now let's try to run this program. Okay, so this is the output. For this output, we only have four cells which is this cell. Enter your name label is found at row 0, column 0, the entry for that, the L2, row 1, column 0, and the entry for that, which is E2. Alright, so here guys, we're going to add two buttons, which is the button submit and the button cancel. So observe, button submit will be displayed on row 2, column 1, cancel will be displayed or placed on row 2, column 2. So Let's try to add these two buttons. For that, copy this code first. Okay, observe. We have two buttons, B1 and B2. Okay, so the address for B1 will be row 2 column 1 then for b2 that is row 2 column 2 and now let's try to run this program so if you're going to observe the entry is being cut okay so the table is like this at the top of cancel, there is an empty cell. So now we're going to merge these two columns for the entry, okay? So to merge that, we're going to use the column span, okay? So to merge two rows, we have the row span. But for now, we're merging two columns. That's why we're going to use column span. 
So here the ending E1 and E2 will occupy two columns that will be column 1 and column 2. So we're going to add column span for entry. So this is the first entry which is E1. So the value of column span will be how many value or how many columns the widget will occupy. So it will occupy two columns. That's why the value will be two. Same with E2. So we're just going to copy and paste that here. Okay, so now let's try to run this program. Observe the output is much better than the first output. Okay, so we have the entry at the top of cancel okay so now let's try to use the other options for the grid okay so we're going to use first the ipad x or ipad y they are just the same for ipad x that is for horizontal for ipad y that is for vertical so here we're going to add ipad x or let's add a pixel for the button because if you're going to observe the text for the button is a bit near to its border okay so let's add ipad x for that okay so let's add let's say 8 copy add that again to b2 then let's try to run this program so now guys observe that it added 8 pixels from the left and 8 pixels from the right next we have the pad x and pad y it is used for adding pixels for the widgets okay this is outside the border so for the pad x we're going to add it on l1 okay guys let's add pad x equals to 20 so it means that we're going to have 20 pixels for the l1 okay so let's run this program observe this is the output okay so if you're going to observe the label enter your name have a pad or it has a distance from the window or the root or the entry let's just copy and paste this one then let's try to run this program okay so this is the output so if you're going to observe it added 20 pixels from the left and 20 pixels from the right so it's a bit of a distance so let's try to change this into 10 then another 10 then observe what will happen so this is the output much better than the first one so now guys let's add pad x to the other label which is l2 and same with the other entry which is e2 okay then let's try to run this program observe this is the output now if you're going to observe the label it is being aligned on the center to fix that we're going to use the sticky for the sticky the value will be the direction of the compass which is n e s w and e n w s e n s w so let's add sticky on l1 okay let's try to align sticky on the this part then let's play the output so now guys if you're going to observe the labels are being aligned on the right side that is the value of sticky we can change e into w if you want to align that on the left part which is the west and this will be the output so we can also add pad y to add distance from the top okay so let's have pad y equals to 5 so let's add 5 pixels to the first label much better than the first output okay so this is the use of grid okay so you can use grid in arranging or positioning your widgets using the Kinder. so if this video helps you don't forget to like and of course don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorial videos about gui in python so bye guys